Today we're unboxing a custom keypad called the Frankenstein by Easy Keys. It's an extension to your keyboard where you have volume knobs and extra switches for your macros and shortcuts. We have a bunch of technical parts here like this rotary knob PCB, mounting plates, a south facing switch PCB with RGB, hot swappable sockets, and USB-C. Other components that we get are some Gateron and TCC switches, screw and stabilizers with dampening rings, transparent keycaps, braided cable, plastic rotary knobs, connector cable, and rubber feet. And these are the main housing pieces, and they're clearly 3D printed, which is really cool and come in a bunch of different colors. There's actually no instructional guide on how to build this, but if you use your brain or know how to build a keyboard already, it's a pretty simple process. So let's go. Now since we have stabilizers, we have to lube them because it just doesn't feel right if we don't. Next we put in the stabilizers and simply just screw them in. Then we can put the plate down and screw that in as well. And I know they sent over switches, but I decided to put in some Duroc Dolphins instead. And after putting the keycaps, that's literally all there is to the first part. And you can actually get this as a standalone piece, since it has the USB-C port on the side here, and it comes with this finishing piece to fill in the hole. But since we got the two-piece kit, we gotta put them both together. So what we got to do next is connect the rotary PCB and plate together with some standoffs. And once everything is all screwed in together, the top portion is complete just like that. Very simple process. And now we just need to connect the two starting with the cable, then screwing in the mounting piece which helps stick the two cases together with some screws, do a loop-de-loop -loop to connect the rotary PCB, throw it down onto the top case, screw it down, throw some knobs in their places, and that's how you build the Frankenstein Mark V. The aesthetics of this keypad are absolutely stunning thanks to the RGB lighting that's paired with the transparent keycaps. And what makes this keypad even better is that there's a custom program that goes with it and it's very simple to use. You simply have 5 keys and 2 rotary knobs that also have button press available and you can change them to whatever you want. From keyboard keys to layers, backlighting, media controls, users and even macros. And this is my current configuration and it's been awesome to use. RGB control is super simple, volume control is there with media playback, and I have all the functions that I need on a daily basis. And by the way, the quality of the rotary knob is actually really good. Because first off, the tactility of the button is really satisfying, the notches on the knob when twisting it is very obvious, so it's really good for precise control, and there's basically zero wiggle room, which means the build quality on this is really good. I think my biggest gripe about this keypad is the direction of the USB-C port. It looks great when it's on the right side because the cable is straightforward, but when you put it on the left side or above your keyboard, you get this weird curve on the cable and that's not really aesthetically pleasing. And if they had put the USB-C port at the top, I think it would have made this keypad a little more flexible. But it honestly depends on your workflow because you can still put this keypad anywhere around the keyboard, but it's just that the cable might be in the way. But overall, I really like using this keypad, and if you're interested, check it in the links down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.